Hello everybody, it's Mike here Game From Scratch, and if you've been following this channel for any period of time, you probably know by now that I like free. I think a lot of people like free, and today I've got something that just became free for you. Autodesk Sketchbook. Now, if you've never heard of it, Sketchbook is a drawing application, and it's a very good one at that. Now, Autodesk obviously is the company behind such products as Maya, Max, and AutoCAD, but they also made a freehand drawing application, and a lot of it's optimized for uh, tablet or pen-based drawing. And like I said, they do a very, very good job of it. My familiarity with this is more from the iPad side of things, but it's cool to see it going free. Now, it's been semi-free for a while. You've been able to download a free version that had um, functionality removed, things like layers, etc. Now this is actually full on, absolute, straight out free. Uh, as you can see, you head on over to uh, sketchbook.com. I'll, like, I'll throw that link down below, but that one's pretty easy, uh, sketchbook.com. Um, and you can just go ahead and download it or you can learn a little bit more about what free means. And free really actually honestly does mean me, uh, mean free, which is you know kind of refreshingly cool. Uh, current subscribers kind of got screwed a bit, but you know, that's the nature of having subscribed to a product that is now free. It's not gonna rebuild. So if you're already a Sketchbook subscriber, don't worry, it won't rebuild coming up. It is now free for you in the future. Uh, ditto for the in-app purchases, etc. And the only catch is there is an enterprise version. And the thing about that is it integrates with their other auto products so that's really the only major difference here um, so yeah it's a uh, pretty cool news uh, I, I'm actually a fan of um, sketchbook in general so let's jump in and take a look at it now there is one catch there's always at least one catch uh, well two I guess there's analytics but you could turn that off using the preferences but you need to create an account now you can use it free for seven days but after that you need to create an autodesk uh, account in order to log in and continue using it completely free uh, they're not really spammy with their email usage but um, you know some people are not going to like this and they actually really do mean this it actually is a free product at this point in time so i'm gonna go ahead and use the seven day version and just click up here to continue not sure what that was uh, but here you see the sketchbook interface it's very streamlined again this is really designed for use with um, a tablet of some kind if you have a surface that would be a great choice here or a wacom tablet but it still works perfectly functionally fine with the mouse you see here you got quick controls for changing so the, the opacity if you go left or right uh, you get size so up and down opacity left and right is size and this one is saturation and then i think angle or luminance Okay, so basically you got some quick controls over there. You got your various different brush types available right here. Uh, you've got your tools across the top here, including your drawing mode, etc. And you have your uh, different touch functionalities down here. So if you want your color selection, uh, your paintbrush options. Um, again, a lot of this interface does come from a tablet environment. So if it seems a little non-conventional as a desktop app, well, that is why. Over here, you can see your layer support is built in. You've got your standard layer functionality. You've got your standard layer blending modes, um, opacities, etc. You can layer up and down, um, above and below other layers, etc. You've got a background layer available here. Uh, we can set the background color using that tool right there. Although I don't think I selected black, but that's fine. Um, and then realistically, you pick a pen or a pencil over here. Uh, I'll do a paintbrush this time. You pick a color. So I will go with, actually let's do white, like so. And you draw. And that's about the extent of it. You change your different, uh, the way your lines are made. Like that. Or you can do lines. And it is a freehand sketching program. You've got your various different brushes, brush modes. Uh, you've got blending tools, like so. Uh, you've got pencil emulation. Oh, I'm in line mode still. Let me go back here to the guided, like that. So it can smooth out your curves. Um, it's This one is, I believe, like a guide, uh, predictive strokes. So basically, it's guessing what you want it to do and blending your strokes accordingly. I actually really like that mode. It makes your um, on-screen strokes look a lot less janky, at least it did for mine. And then you got cool things up here, such as this um, uh, French curve you can use to trace along, like so. So you need to create lines, you bring them down, you can rotate over here. This works very well with the touch interface, I might add, but you know, so if you're going for that, that look, and you've got uh, circular and normal ruler. Again, it works well with multi-touch where you put one finger here and one finger there to rotate and shape and, and um, set the position. But as you see with the mouse, it works just fine in that regard as well. Um, and you got a perspective tool for doing uh, lines along a certain perspective. So if you're doing like a two point or a three point uh, perspective drawing, you can set them up using that. Uh, you've got symmetry painting. So you see we're on this side versus that side. So let me just head on back to a brush mode. Uh, let's see, 
Uh, how do I get back into a brush mode? I guess I have to turn this off. I toggle that off. All right, so here I am, in, and you'll see one on each side. So let's jack our brush up in size. Oh, that's opacity. Size. There we go. So you see it drawn on one side and symmetrically done on the other. And then you got a couple of other features here. Like this one's kind of cool. If you're into the Copic paint schemes, you've actually got the, um, if you're going from the certain color palette that from the Copic markers, uh, you can pick them here directly by type. I believe that was also a plugin. It no longer is. And well, that's kind of it. It's a very uh, straightforward, streamlined tool. It does exactly what it's here for, which is um, um, sketch. Uh, but it does sketching very, very well. So you see you've got your standard tool, like your lasso selections, your uh, cropping, moving, rotating, selecting. And then under tools here, we've got uh, zoom, fit to zoom, ellipse, etc. cetera. Uh, your zoom's very straightforward. You can do very fast, smooth zoom in and out. Like so down to a very low pixel level. Performance is just solid. It's not really uh, rocking my computer at all. The weird thing is, I don't know if there's a pan that the zoom orbits wherever you've got selected. Uh, but I can't do a middle mouse button panning, which is actually kind of frustrating, but it may actually just be my knowledge of it. Again, most of my exposure to this tool actually comes from the iPad version a couple of years back. So uh, this new free desktop version, I am not exceedingly familiar with, but I believe all of those versions are actually available. So the Google Play version is now free. I think the Apple iTunes version is now free. The Apple App Store version is free. The um, the Microsoft App Store version is free, though it still says there are in-app purchases. I think that just hasn't been updated yet. And then, of course, you can download it from sketchbook.com. So if you're looking for a free hand sketching program, Autodesk uh, Sketchbook was literally one of the best. And um, the, the free price tag kind of makes it a bit of a no-brainer. So uh, pretty awesome to see that. It's definitely one to check out. It's not a huge download. I think it was about 70 or 80 megabytes in size. And again, it doesn't do much beyond uh, sketching. Uh, but it does sketching well, uh, it does sketching very well actually. And so if you're looking for a sketching tool, um, this is definitely one to check out, especially as I said, now that it is completely free. Uh, so that's it for now. That is Autodesk Sketchbook available at sketchbook.com. Previously, I think it was about hundred bucks a year. Now it is absolutely free, except for the enterprise version, which should not pertain to, I think 99% of my viewers. Um, and, but you might want to check in specifically at the uh, details to find out what that specifically means, uh, where the enterprise version comes in, because this is a little vague with exception of specific cross product functionality as it pertains to other Autodesk software. That is really the only information they've got to go on. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what that means in terms of importers, exporters, etc. Because uh, this guy can save out to a number of different formats. They were down here under this. So if we do a save. Uh, we've got the choices of uh, JPEG, GIF, PNG, PSD, TIFF, and PXD files. So, um, you know, you've got the ability to work with just about any 2D pipeline or texture pipeline that you want to work with anyway. So I'm not sure uh, how this guy would particularly integrate into um, their other products, but that is a limitation of the corporate version. And that's about it. Uh, we can bring up the brush palette. Uh, we bring up the brush library. Uh, we can bring up the color editor. And we'll bring up the sketchbook extras, which I don't know what that actually means. Ooh, free brushes, free brushes, free brushes. Um, again, if, if you're into digital drawing, this is definitely, ooh, that's cool. You got copy pens and brushes already predefined for you. Um, it is a cool application that I highly recommend you check out. So that is uh, it. I hope you found that useful, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.